Thanks, George. Um, hey, everyone. I'm Ben. I'm co-founder of LogRocket. And for those of you that are not familiar, LogRocket combines front-end monitoring, product analytics, and session replay to give product teams everything they need to monitor and improve their product experiences. And today, I'm going to review our new issue management feature. And on the surface, issue management is a redesign of our errors page, but it's far more than simply a design refresh. Issue management is a new abstraction that brings together the, the whole gamut of problems that impact users, including um, JavaScript errors, performance issues, UX issues, and gives you an easy to use UI that helps you cut through the noise and triage and address the issues that are having the greatest impact on your application's health and your overall product experience. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. And um, I'm going to scroll down past this graph for a moment, but I'll, I'll come back there uh, shortly. So here, LogRocket is showing you a list of all, here are all the high priority issues. Um, that are affecting users and here are recent issues that have come in that have not yet been triaged So let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to triage one of these issues. Um, I'm going to click in here and On on the right here LogRocket is showing me some statistics ar around how this issue manifests itself So what browsers are users using who have this issue? Um, what operating systems what pages in your app does it appear on? Um, here is like the information on this specific instance. Like this is the user it affected. This was their their um, you know their browser and their location and things like that. Down here, since this this particular issue was a JavaScript error, you can see where in your code it happened. As so we have the full stack trace, um, and then of course the log rocket video. And the video is so important for triaging issues because it lets you quickly answer the question of did this affect the user. And if it did affect the user, what was its impact? Did it completely break your application and prevent them from doing what they wanted to do? Or was it more of a, a nuisance and something lower impact? And once you've watched the video and have that understanding of the impact of, of the issue, you can go to status and set the issue status. And let's imagine for now that I watched the video, it was something that it, it, it was a JavaScript error, but it, it didn't even affect the user, and I, I don't want it to bother me in the future. I can hit ignore, and I can either just ignore this issue, or I can make a rule, and then LogRocket will then know moving forward to always ignore issues that match my rule. And I like to think of this and the issue product in general as kind of like an inbox of the, the issues affecting your users. and like an inbox in, in Gmail, for example, setting rules helps you keep track of your, you know, helps you manage your inbox when you have a lot of things coming into it. And we can set rules for, for to ignore issues. We can set rules that certain things mean it's a high priority issue. Um, and that helps, you know, helps the, the whole team rally around keeping this organized and triaging issues so that you can come in and see what are truly the highest impact issues where I can fix them and improve my application experience. And that's what the graph up here does. It shows you over time what is the overall health of your application, what percentage of sessions does the user experience a high impact issue or a low impact issue or no issue. And here at LogRocket, we, um, we, we dog food our own product and we've been using this for a while. And we've kind of set SLAs as an engineering team around reviewing the, the needs triage issues, setting rules, managing the inbox, and then striving for over 95% sessions with no issues, which has been really helpful for the team um, to, to focus on driving meaningful improvements in our product experience and having confidence that there aren't regressions or, or major issues that are, that are affecting our users. Um, but this is really just one way LogRocket can help teams improve their product experiences. And if you'd like to learn more, visit us at logrocket.com, or you can also just reply to the webinar email you received. And so now I'm really excited to introduce Chris and Cliff from Lola, who have a great presentation prepared on adding consistency to feature releases.